Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Twins versus White Sox Major League Baseball matchup on Sunday, August 4th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks. You just head on over to PickDogs.com, click on the premium picks tab. Um, of course, we've also got links in the description for that. If you're looking for our high-end VIP packages, our most expensive premium, you just text the number you see on the screen. It's uh, not for everyone. It's meant for people with big bankrolls, not a one-pick system or parlay bailout or anything like that. It's meant for people looking for a long-term winning solution. If that's you, by all means, text that number. But let's get to it. We've got the Twins taking on the White Sox. The Twins fighting for a wild-card spot in the American League. And while they sit in third in the wild-card standings in the American League, they're actually second in the loss column, just two games in the loss column behind the Yankees, but a comfortable two games ahead of the Boston Red Sox and uh, you know five games ahead of the Seattle Mariners. And so pretty, pretty reasonable shape here for the Twins, a team that controls their own destiny. They just haven't played as many games as the Royals, and that's why they sit um, behind them in the standings in the wild card. The thing is, is the uh, White Sox are the worst team in baseball. It's not even close. In fact, they're looking to be historically one of the worst teams. You know, at the beginning of the season, I always say, ah, even the worst teams in baseball win 60 games a year. Well, not the Chicago White Sox this year. They've only won 27 games. There's 50 games left to play. If they go 500 on the way in, they still are, you know, are 10 games, uh, 110 game losers. That's how bad they are. A historically bad season. When we look at uh, the starters for this one, Simeon Woods Richardson gets the ball here for the Twins. He's been solid, you know, not outstanding. And then last time out against the Mets, he got absolutely jacked for six runs in three and the third innings of work. But that hasn't been the norm. In fact, that was his worst performance of the entire season. Generally, he's been about a two, three run guy, max, couple shutouts in there, um, you know, some ones as well. That's why he's got a 3.74 ERA on 91 and a third innings pitch. He still allowed less than 10 home runs, just nine on the season, 28 walks. So he's been serviceable, certainly not, you know, an all-star, but you know what? He kind of has that all-star um, potential within him, but he's going to have to do some work. He has never really gone deep into games this season. It's kind of been one of the knocks we've had on him all along. 5.27 ERA over his last three starts. We look at Chris Flexen for the White Sox coming off a reasonable performance last time out, but you know he has really had no luck as the White Sox have lost all 10 of his last 10 starts. And that's pretty much the way it's gone for the White Sox. He's got a 5.13 ERA in the season. He's allowed 18 home runs over 112 and a third innings of work, 43 walks, which is a little too high for my taste. Over his last three starts, 7.04 ERA. Yeah, the White Sox are just terrible. And, you know, Flexen, I don't think is all that horrible of, of a pitcher. But, man, are the White Sox bad. And you guys, you know, whether you know it or not, you know, the White Sox are my, are my favorite team, which makes it a little bit tougher um, to go by. But, you know, they are, the team, they are the team that's made the playoffs the least amount of times over the last 50 years. And the White Sox, of course, get smoked by the Twins often. 6-20 and 20 in the last 26 meetings of these two teams. We look at the way these teams are hitting the ball in the White Sox versus righties. A paltry 193 over their last 10 games. The Twins, 263 over their last 10 games versus righties. But the Twins' bullpen has been horrible. Uh, 6.19 ERA over their last 10, while the White Sox, 7.07. I think the issue here is, well, the... The, I think we're going to see a high-scoring game. I, I think no doubt about that. But I think, you know, the White Sox, just not bettable at this point. I can't lay the big odds here with the Twins either. It makes it tough for me. So probably not one I'm rushing to the window, but it's the Twins are the play, and that's my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.